Resources still needed after Hurricanes Helene and Milton wreaked havoc across several states. CBS News Philadelphia's Wiki Bailey caught up with a travel nurse from our area who cared for patients at a hospital in North Carolina during Helene. And now she's collecting resources to help the storm ravaged region. I was watching the news in my patient's room. Nurse Kendall Sharkey was only two months on the job at Mission Hospital in Asheville, North Carolina, when Hurricane Helene hit September 26. I re remember distinctly they, them saying eight to ten inches of rain, there'll be some flash flooding. She was mandated to stay overnight. At about four in the morning, the fire alarm went off. The transmitter had blew up, blown up. And there was a fire and that's when we lost power. I went to the bathroom. We couldn't flush the toilet with no power or water. Sharky, along with co-workers, still had to care for patients in the hospital. Then they were hit with the sudden influx of injured residents. Every two, five minutes, a new ambulance was pulling up. Sharky says they saw up to 400 people at one time inside the hospital's ER. We had too many patients per nurse and they were airlifting patients out to other their outside hospitals and to outside states to make room. But the damage went beyond the hospital. Oh my Lord. Homes shredded apart or washed away. Roads barely drivable or underwater. These people are completely trapped. Sharky and her boyfriend found safety four hours away at a family's home. She still had to commute every day back and forth to work, but she didn't arrive empty handed. She stocked up on supplies to give out to those who were stuck in Asheville. Between GoFundMe and Venmo, I ended up raising $14,000. And we have taken multiple truckloads and trailer loads back with us as donations. As parts of the hospital were eventually back up and running, Sharky was notified her job as a nurse was being eliminated. I just found out Friday that they have too much staff and because some of the units are shut down from not proper water, not adequate water access still, they actually just let go 126 nurses, me included. Wakisha Bailey, CBS News, Philadelphia. Well, nurse Kendall Sharkey's last day on the job is next Tuesday. And while she looks for work, she says she's still dedicated to collecting donations to help others. Proof that not all heroes wear capes.